hello guys welcome back to another tutorial it's blessing and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful corn sleeve okay it's so simple easy and very stylish so if this sounds like what you like to learn let's go right into the video so this is the ankara fabric that's the african print fabric that i'm going to be using and the black fabric is the lining fabric i'll be using to line this sleeve okay so you're going to fold your fabric into two okay after folding it into two you're going to fold it again into another two all right as though you want to cut a 360 flip okay so this is it you're folding into two again making it four in total okay you're folding it that the, the fabric is going to be in four all right so now the length of the sleeve we want to use is seven inches and then i want to add one inch as our seam allowance so you're going to be marking from this point round by eight inches then you join the lines together like so so after joining together you'll go ahead and cut out what we have on the pattern okay so this is what we have okay this is as though you are cutting a flay you can see that it's round okay so the next thing you want to do now is to fold it into two equal halves all right so you fold it into two equal halves then you cut it into two okay So after cutting into two, we are going to be using just one of the pieces. If you like, you can use the same fabric as the lining. But for me, I'll be using a black fabric that's lining as the lining piece. Okay. So I already went ahead to cut out the lining exactly the way we have the African print. So if you like, you can attach your gun stay to the lining piece. And if you like, you can add to your main fabric but for me i'll be adding to the lining because this make it neater okay in case your fabric is rumple it will not show on the fabric instead it will be inside which is the lining piece okay so we'll go ahead and attach the gum stay to the lining piece and this is what we have already you see how neat it is so we'll go ahead and face the lining and the main fabric with the right side facing each other then we are going to sew with half an inch round the half cycle like this okay you are going to sew with just half an inch you see what we have over there so after sewing i went ahead to notch 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 just so it should it should relax properly after turning it inside out okay because it's a curve okay when you have a curve always ensure to notch properly okay so this is what we have after turning it inside out i'm using my scissors to just push out all edges to be straight okay so i went ahead to iron down with our steam iron okay just so it relaxed properly so you can see what we have so i went ahead to cut out all excesses okay so that we can have a straight and beautiful line so after that the next thing i want to do is to fold it into two like so you can see then we are going to sew down with half an inch okay so we are going to go ahead and sew with half an inch so after sewing this is what we have okay i want the edge to cut that place off a little so that after turning that point will not be too bulky that is the essence for that okay so you can go ahead and use your scissors to push out the pointy edges or the pointy edge rather so this is what we have they can go ahead to weave that line okay just to give it a beautiful and neat finishing you can go ahead to weave it okay so this is what we have and that joining part is what will be on the shoulder where you have joined is going to be the place to relax on the shoulder 
so this is it guys you can see how beautiful easy and straightforward it is okay do well to give this video a big thumbs up all right and don't forget to subscribe so this is it on the mannequin okay i'm just trying to show you how it should be on your shoulder and you can see the joining is perfectly relaxing on the shoulder of the mannequin so that's how it should be thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye